Non-communicable diseases are not contagious and therefore cannot be spread from person to person within a community. They are not caused by germs or parasites, but instead have a host of other factors that cause or trigger them. Some non-communicable diseases are genetic. Genetic diseases are coded for in DNA, so a person with this kind of illness is born with it, although they may not show symptoms of the disease until later in life. Some examples of genetic diseases include psoriasis, a skin condition, and cystic fibrosis, which mostly affects the lungs and is lethal without proper management. Huntington's disease is another genetic disorder in which nerve cells in the brain break down, causing loss of coordinated movement and mental decline, usually starting around age 35. Since genetic diseases are the result of non-functional or malfunctioning genes, they are not contagious. They are hereditary, however, so they may be passed on from one generation to the next. Many non-communicable diseases are the result of lifestyle choices and behavior. A poor diet and physical inactivity, for example, can lead to obesity, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, and many other conditions. The decision to use tobacco products could lead to asthma or a number of different cancers, while alcohol abuse could lead to cirrhosis or hardening of the liver. These conditions are the result of personal choices an individual makes for their life and obviously are not contagious. The illnesses associated with behavior are chronic, however, so they often have no cure, but instead require daily medications and behavior management plans. Another cause of non-communicable diseases involves environmental factors like pollution. Chemical contaminants in air, soil, or water can find their way into our bodies through inhalation, absorption through the skin, or consumption of contaminated food or water. Repeated exposure to chemical contaminants can cause illnesses like chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, lower respiratory infections, gastric issues like diarrhea, disruption of the endocrine system, which controls hormones, skin rashes, birth defects, and a host of different cancers. Environmental factors can also serve as triggers for other diseases like asthma, psoriasis, or herpes. Environmentally induced illnesses may be experienced by many people in a community, not because they are contagious, but rather because the people of the community share the same environment. Diseases caused by environmental factors often become chronic conditions that an individual will have to manage for extended periods of time with medications or other treatments. The last cause of non-communicable diseases that we will discuss in this lesson is age. As a person ages, body systems and organs can wear out over time and begin to fail. Non-communicable diseases related to age are called degenerative diseases and include arthritis, osteoporosis, and glaucoma, among others. Some of these diseases have environmental, genetic, and behavioral factors that can contribute to their development as well. Treatment of degenerative diseases may involve daily medication regimens, pain management, or physical therapy. Many non-communicable diseases don't have one specific cause, but rather have a number of different factors that play into developing the disease. Asthma is one of those diseases, and sometimes researchers just can't figure out why someone has it. Asthma is a condition that affects the airways of the lungs. When an asthma attack occurs, the muscles surrounding the airways tighten up, making the airway smaller. The airways can also become inflamed and produce extra mucus. All these things make it very difficult to breathe, so a victim of asthma may sound like they are gasping or wheezing when they are having an attack. Genetics may play a role in making someone more prone to developing asthma. Certain lifestyle choices may contribute as well. For example, the children of smokers are more likely to develop asthma because they are exposed to secondhand smoke. A multitude of environmental factors may serve as triggers for an asthma attack. For example, air pollution, allergies, 
and exercise. While the exact cause of asthma is not well understood, one thing is certain. You cannot catch asthma from another person since it is a non-communicable disease. Like many non-communicable diseases, asthma is chronic, and there is no cure. Instead, the disease must be managed with a combination of medication, like inhalers, and behavior modification, for example, avoiding triggers like allergens, rigorous exercise, or smoking. Heart disease is another non-communicable disease whose cause is often complex. Lifestyle choices, like smoking, lack of exercise, and poor eating habits all contribute to developing heart disease. Certain chemicals in the environment could play a part as well. Genetics may also make an individual more likely to develop heart disease. As with asthma and other non-communicable diseases, patients do not receive cures from their doctors, but rather a daily disease management plan. For heart disease, the management plan may include a daily diet and exercise regime, daily medications, and possibly even surgery. It is important to have a daily management plan for non-communicable diseases because it helps an affected individual live a relatively healthy life despite their disease. Management plans identify the patient's specific needs and provide a list of actions necessary to keep symptoms in check. Without a management plan, a person with a chronic disease could experience a worsening of their condition and possibly even death. Since genetic, environmental factors, and age play a role in developing non-communicable diseases, it may seem like there is nothing that can be done to prevent them. There are, however, some actions that can help prevent or reduce the severity of non-communicable diseases. A healthy diet and regular exercise, along with routine checkups and health screenings, are a few steps you can take to stay healthy. We will discuss these preventative measures in greater detail in a later lesson.